Hi guys, this is Eike Barte, my name is Bart and I'm from the Netherlands. I'm Hia from Korea. Yay! And we are an international couple and today we're going to talk about five cultural differences that we have experienced so far. And I'm really excited to do that, it's always fun to talk about that. But for this video we want to go back in time, so let's start! restaurant we have to call the waiter like scream like 저기요 or 이모님 or 사장님 that's just normal Netherlands is not normal not really you know we wave our hand maybe if they don't look we expect them to notice us in Korea I, I feel a little bit awkward because sometimes you really have to call loudly through the restaurant 저기요 이모님 사장님 yes like sometimes you're mm. embarrassed and like you have to really Tokyo was never, never gonna be work. And yeah. I remember at the beginning, I could call whatever I want. They never listened. Nobody, <laughs> the whole restaurant turns around except for the waiter or the waitress. <laughs> Nobody comes to me. <laughs> These days, I'm, I'm fine. I found the right voice. Oh, what is that? Show me. Sajangnim. <laughs> You have to be on the flow. But in the Netherlands, you better not scream through the restaurant. Look at. <laughs> <laughs> it looks at, you know, why is it transparent? I don't know. People can see my my number two. <laughs> Eating noodles in Korea. It's so nice to eat noodles. It's so not nice to hear people eating noodles. <laughs> I didn't realize at all that we are making sound. I mean, how can you eat noodles without making sound? I can. You know, I just... The, 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 and it's not really delicious. This is so common in Korea. I mean, you didn't try. I tried yesterday and I couldn't you even could. slurp the noodles inside. Oh, you have to get used to it. <laughs> I was grown up in the Netherlands eating my food without making sound. Mm. Like, you don't want to bother other people. You don't want to show that you are eating. You know, mm. the whole world has to know that you are eating noodles. <laughs> What feeling do you get when you hear people eating? Really? Yeah. Point three. When I'm in the Netherlands, they ask me a lot of questions, always. I know. I love to see you getting uncomfortable, <laughs> you know, being bombed <laughs> over yeah, with so all questions. <laughs> like... You know that a Korean received answer mm -hmm. and we just say yes or no or good or not good. Many times when I meet new people in Korea, I'm so excited, I'm so interested, I have so many questions and the answers are always, but I mean only in the beginning, really short. Yeah. <laughs> For example, if I ask what kind of job do you have, they probably say like office job. Just that. Yeah. Just I work in an office. So what kind of office? What do you do in the office? I mean, are you cleaning the toilets there or are you <laughs> doing graphic design? Behind? Everyone has like really high pride of their job, no matter what kind of job is it. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, that was so impressive. Like in Netherlands, like I asked some questions uh, because I'm not really good at asking questions but after I stayed in Netherlands a little bit longer mm -hmm. but I asked one question and just the whole story okay okay <laughs> wow nice uh, how do you feel with this question? embarrassing <laughs> especially all the people that are walking by they're they looking at us like what the fuck are they doing and we're sitting behind see <laughs> start start the like, whole <laughs> Kelly. whole story about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do not enter. So when Talk is that moment, it. when is that turning point that you feel not comfortable enough to ask many questions? Definitely not in the first first meeting. Yeah? Yeah, we need more time to get close. What about after a lot of soju? After a lot, soju always helps. <laughs> soju always helps. <laughs> soju or like drinking beer. Or Bart shows his expression too 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 strong. Like so, what? Like when you're annoyed, then you just like, yes, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm so salty. And <laughs> I don't feel good. 
good if you're doing like that. When I want to express myself, I also think if I express this feeling, then how would the other people think? Yeah, honestly, I don't care. I know. <laughs> you know, I, I feel at that moment, I feel something. So if I don't express it, then where can I go, you know? Yeah, that's also really good. I learned that from Bart. I learned that from Bart. I, I didn't know how to express my feeling really like directly. Sometimes you're so scary that like I'm tired and I'm so salty. I'm so tired. And like I feel like... Okay. He doesn't say sorry. Never? Never, not never, but... I remember last night I said sorry. Improving. <laughs> He's improving. But I heard this is kind of cultural thing. Like they don't say really sorry. No way, I'm not gonna say sorry when I when I don't mean it. It's but I mean in Korea we we, <laughs> we say sorry a million times a day. Oh, oh you go first. Oh just me that sorry. Yeah, we or like something no. like that's more caring I, culture. But yeah, once Dutch people care, they really care. Yeah, that's true. That's really true. Sincerely Oh, that's care. so true. You're pretty sure but when you see somebody's caring, then he really cares. Yeah, more than care. Like point five. The first day of Netherlands, I didn't know I cannot leave my backpack in the car because I, of course, in Korea it's just normal. So I put my backpack and I went out. And his father, Lambert, said, "Oh, you should bring the the bag. So why not? You will lock the car." Yeah, but well, we will lock the car. But if a, like a bad person walks by the car and he sees the backpack in the car, you give him a reason to steal. So he's curious, what's in the bag? Or maybe there's a laptop, so let's break the window and take it out. And he's gone, you know? And that happens. So I, I don't say the Netherlands is safe. Really, uh -huh. it's safe. Yeah, it's but you just have to be careful uh, for your stuff. So to compare it, Korea is super, super, super safe. People, Koreans that sit in the coffee shop, they always leave their phone or even a laptop, notebook, whatever. They leave it on the table, they go to the toilet. Everybody can get it. It's just normal. There's a CCTV, so someone still that's one of the reasons why I like Korea so much, because I feel super, super safe. Even in the middle of the night or early morning, doesn't matter where you are, I always feel safe. It's always funny when you hear the stories from Koreans going to Europe or to the Netherlands, and they're so used to leave their phone somewhere or <laughs> leave their luggage when they arrive in, in Amsterdam. <laughs> they leave their luggage somewhere and they go to the toilet or whatever, no. they leave it alone for a second, then they come back, it's gone. <laughs> Welcome to the Netherlands. <laughs> I heard those stories many times. Not only from Koreans, by the way. So that's it already. We talked about five points. That was quite fun, but yeah, we, we were fighting a little bit in between, but I cut it out, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.